I find it very disappointing about Microsoft. Some things that I've read recently and saw in a video, I'll leave one of the videos in the description bar, about how Microsoft is not going to support new processors on anything other than Windows 10. <clears throat> There's a number of reasons that this could be. The reasons that they give, I think, are bullshit. They are really, really trying to get people to go to Windows 10. And one of the reasons why a lot of people hypothesize about why Microsoft wants to get people to switch to Windows 10 is because of telemetry. Basically, they can, you know, gather information about you. <clears throat> Some of the very things that people complained about initially with Windows 10, with things like Cortana. And the fact that it's very, very, very difficult to turn Cortana completely off. You can do it. But you got to go through a lot of steps. And they have the whole, you know, forced updates thing. Unless you turn off the services completely. And then you leave the computer at risk. At least to some degree. It's kind of weird how they keep pushing this universal Windows platform thing. Now, I've read recently that... Microsoft actually plans on, <coughs> excuse me, they actually plan on releasing a full version of Office for UWP, as well as releasing Windows Movie Maker for UWP. And if they do this, if they do this, that will be signaling uh, the direction they really, really are going. I mean, when you try to go to their forums, <clears throat> they pretty much do not give any answers uh, when it comes to anything software related that can't be gotten from the Windows Store. They've already kind of went that way in support. We know in 2020, Microsoft was going to be April, is, is it? I might have that exact date wrong. But it's going to be 2020 when Microsoft drops support pretty much totally for Windows 7. Windows 7 is still people's favorite operating system of Microsoft, and with good reason. It was solid, it looked good, it didn't have a bunch of bullshit extras, it was just what people wanted. Now, I use Windows 10 because I find it to be faster. There are some games that I get a 1.5% increase in frame rate over, so, you know, between that and Windows 7. So I you know, I'll stick with the, the more efficient, even though it does potentially have the telemetry in it. But when it comes to things like uh, this video capture card I'm using that I have my good camera hooked up to that I make these videos with, it's interesting that they do not support video capture devices to be used in Universal Windows Platform. And they've been told about it for quite a long time. And they'll try to claim, oh, we, uh, 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 we, we didn't drop support for it. Okay, well, give me, give me the names of some hardware that I can, I can do this on. You know, show me, give me anything, any, any hardware, uh, video capture hardware that, that will be supported in Universal Windows Platform. Nope, they're not going to give you that information. And of course, when they do that, they're getting out of their lie. And their lie is that they, oh, we, we, didn't, we didn't drop support for that. Yeah, you did. As I've said before, there was a version of Windows 10 Insider Preview uh, released between the beginning of February of 2016 and the end of March of 2016. They had a version that this stuff wasn't crippled out of was fully able to use my video capture card, and it worked fine. Um, this is something they're doing on purpose. And, you know, at, thinking about the recent WikiLeaks, and thinking about how <clears throat> there were people last year, not last year, past few years, I think it was two years ago, uh, Sugar Alanian, Sug I never can pronounce his name. He's got a very, very thick accent that it makes him hard to understand. But <clears throat> he 
he had one of these. This is a Microsoft LifeCam Studio. And it, it kept, the light kept coming on. I think it was one of these. Well, it was a webcam, and the light kept coming on like it was being used. And he wasn't doing anything. It just would come on randomly. <clears throat> and I thought to myself, you know, that's, that's kind of weird. But I didn't think that it was potentially, you know, oh, well, let's have the government or the company, you know, snooping around. But now we know that they've been snooping around. And so I have a feeling, and it's conspiratorial for sure. It is. It's a conspiracy theory <clears throat> that Microsoft doesn't want people using uh, video capture devices on UWP because they can't. They don't have control of the camera at that point. They can't just. Well, they can't force turn on this this Sony A fifty one hundred camera. They can't access video capture cards the same way they do webcams. So, you know, that's that's my feeling on that. Uh, conspiratorial, for sure, absolutely. But considering the information that's come out, um, it doesn't seem that far-fetched, really. So, what I foresee when it comes to Microsoft and the shit that they're pushing is I think when they drop support of Windows 7 in 2020, they're going to seriously, seriously, seriously cripple the desktop. They're going to do something like, well, if you're using the desktop, if you're using any app in desktop mode, you will not be able to connect to the internet or something like that. You know, you, you will have no internet connectivity for any desktop app. Something on that order. So they can say, well, we didn't completely drop support. You can still use it. But if you want to do something on the net, you have to use UWP. That's what I foresee. You know, 2020, that's what I foresee. And I think it's going to fail miserably on them. I think it's going to backfire miserably on them. Um, if that is indeed what they do. Um, the only chance of it not backfiring on them is if they really start to put out decent apps in UWP, and another number of other companies start to put out decent apps for UWP. But right now, that's just not happening. And right now, UWP pretty much turns your computer into having the functionality of a smartphone, which is garbage. You know, smartphones can be, are, can be really neat devices. They can, they can do a lot of stuff. But there's the, the software that's on them is ridiculously limited. I don't know how peop, why people get so excited about some of these apps. It's like, look, this, this thing could do so much more than this. But they just settle for this mediocre shit. Let's turn my computer into a kiosk. Let's turn it into a smartphone. No, I, I, I want more functionality than that. So, but that's my prediction about Microsoft. I think in 2020, they're going to seriously cripple the desktop. And I, I think that will, because uh, they, they can't just completely drop support of the desktop or that would absolutely and for sure kill them. But if they drop support for certain things on the desktop, they're more likely to get away with it. What do you think? Do you think I'm, I'm really off the mark here? 